<laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> I am just not okay unless I can be near the ocean. Not all the way. I love the mountains, but being by the ocean nourishes my soul in a way that nothing else will do. I had to get in the car and drive over here. I've been in the Bay Area three weeks on the peninsula, as it's called, and um, I miss the ocean. So here it is behind me over in Half Moon Bay, and I am so relieved. I almost cried when I saw it because I had missed it. And I haven't been swimming in the ocean either, which is not easy for me. <laughs> I've been freezing at 20 degrees and 25 degrees colder than I'm used to. And I uh, wanted to talk about trusting yourself when you have no evidence. <laughs> and people are telling you to do things and it doesn't sound right. You have to trust really. We have this inside of us, this internal GPS that no one else can dictate. And we know. It kind of gets covered up when you get older as you grow up. Because people tell you you should do this, take that job, marry that person, go to that place. And um, one thing that traveling has taught me is to trust my gut and not use any other evidence like if something feels uh insecure or not safe gotta trust it and the same goes for where you want to go in your life even if it's uh something in your day-to-day -day world that doesn't feel right just trusting that you're going to make the right decision and not run it by everyone else who isn't living your life. So, living your life, <laughs> being creative, and trusting your gut, it's all the same thing. So, if you can really get to that place in yourself, it could be meditation, it could be walking in the woods, it could be being at the ocean, swimming in the ocean, but just do those things that make you closer to your divine essence because the treasures that await you I've gotten a little bit caught up in all the craziness too. So, have a beautiful day. Get out in nature. Touch some trees. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>